Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. But for those of you who are new, my name is Poppy and I have created this channel to talk about life in the UK from the eye of someone who relocated here. But today we're actually going to do something a little bit different. As many of you know, I was born and raised in Thailand and today I do need some rice uh, some, and some bits and bobs from the Thai shop anyway. So I thought it would be cool for you to come with me so that you know what I normally get in a Thai shop so that it will give you some ideas of what a Thai person normally get when they go grocery shopping. So without further ado, let's go. So like I said in other um, previous video, in the UK there's loads of places that you can shop for um, Asian groceries or Thai groceries in particular. The one that I normally go to is the one that is based in Richmond. They call Ya Thai and um, they're not like big supermarket or anything but they do have enough of the stuff that we need so and it's not too far from where I live so we normally just really go there I mean I'll leave all the links of the places that you can go shopping down below I mean there's also uh, another shop called Ran Thai that I use quite regularly where you just order online they used to have a minimum order of 60 pounds I, I suppose they are 60 pounds but now I think they're reduced to 25 pounds so that's quite convenient we just on our way there and um, I'll see you when I get there. Yeah. Let's do it. Got a basket. Um, I normally just start like you know like when you start at the supermarket just go between each section but I would normally start where the sources are first just trying to think um, this is a uh, very stable in a Thai kitchen oyster sauce but to be fair I think we have one big bottle of this so we don't really need this so I'm gonna put it back there um, we've got that seafood we've got that seafood um, sauce there so we don't really need it Sea Russia sauce. Um, I think we're running out of um, soy sauce. So, so yeah, the stable is in the kitchen, uh, for, for Thai kitchen, I would say. So uh, soy sauce, oyster sauce, and fish sauce. I always, always have them. Um, so I'm just gonna grab some soy sauce. We do need it. Uh, sea Russia sauce, no. And I'm also looking at. Uh, some of these um, paste. Let's see if I need anything. To be honest, I've been cooking this kind of like Thai salad uh, lab quite a lot. So I might grab one of these because they will come in handy. It's really easy to cook with. Oh yeah, of course, all these little like mama noodles. So if you've been to Thailand at all, you'll see this brand of instant noodle every single where. So that's, this is like originally Thai brand. I think they've been around for like ages, at least when, you know, since I've been born, like I know them. I actually got a big box of 24. And I would say if you're looking to buy one of these, the best flavors are the, the pork flavor. That's like one of the most favorite flavors that, that the Thais do eat so yeah pork flavor although I have to say that it tastes a little bit different comparing to the ones that produce in Thailand I think because of the EU regulations in terms of like meat product it does taste different but it's still good and then you have this um, two types of tom yum um, so this one is clear sort of like tom yum soup and this one is sort of uh, cloudy no milky like with coconut milk in a way yeah. I think um, growing up I always had these and but like this one has become popular I think in the past like 10 years or so so yeah try these you know try all of these actually and see if you like them Actually, I haven't seen this before. I am actually gonna try this because it's quite good. I do like this dish. It's like 
noodles curry kind of thing and i love them but i don't really have them very often because it just takes time to cook and my husband doesn't eat them so i really need to feel like it to be cooking it but with these i can just pop in the microwave whenever i feel like it so that's good Oh yeah, satay. I actually really recommend this sauce and I think we probably need a new bottle. If you've been to Singapore and Thailand as well, there's the dish called Singaporean chicken rice. It's a bit tasteless if I'm honest, but this sauce makes the world difference. So highly highly recommend and you know sometimes if I want to eat really clean I will have like some um, steamed vegetables I'll have meat and I will, might have a bit of potatoes or rice and I'll put this sauce over it it's really clean clean food it tastes good so I'm getting that Quite good because they actually do have some um, ready meals as well. So, but we're not eating Thai today, we're actually eating out, we're having labeling, so we don't need any one of these. But they smell really good. Now, these are the things that I always have in my cupboard, like always. So I always have green curry, whatever brand it is. Personally, I, I do know that if you can get some of the paste from Thailand. They are probably better but i i don't see anything wrong with these at all i do use a lot of nam jai brand and i do think they they are amazing they're great so i normally have green curry red curry and um, yellow curry always at home always stock them up and i think we're kind of running low on the yellow curry so we are going to Yum paste that I normally get. The brand is oh yeah Nam Jai as well. It's just that you know I know like some people do make things from scratch, but it's just I I just really don't. So I normally just get one of these, and that will probably last maybe a month, maybe or more than that actually more than that. We do need a big bag of rice which we'll grab later. Yeah, we normally get five kilo, and it will last us a while. It's how long will it last us? I think. Two, two months? No, come on. We don't eat that much rice. Not two months. Oh yeah, okay. We do apparently eat a lot of rice. Actually, there's one thing that I normally get. Oh, the fish. Yeah. Normally, yeah. There's some honey. The thing is, like, we... Although I'm Thai, I, I, do, I do love food. If you don't know this about me already, do know now I do love food all sort of food Asian like Middle Eastern Western whatever I just love to eat so we do have Thai quite a lot but we also do have Western food a lot as well so that's why you know like a couple of things like this like could last us a couple of months so we're just gonna start with um, the fish here oh, gosh. so this is Catfish. Mm. They're so good. They're so good. Like, mm. I, I just, I just love them so much. They're good, like grilled. So if you're having a barbecue, grill them. They taste nice. Um, they don't need that much marinade. We normally put them in the oven and just cook them 15, 20 minutes, and they're ready. So I normally get that. And another kind of fish that we normally get. And obviously, we come all the way here to get all these produce because obviously you can't get cash fish in the same thing, right? Um, we also get um, 
out there and look how big this thing is. Like you can't, you just, you just can't get that anywhere else. Hi guys, so I'm back at home now. I think the trip went very well. Um, the traffic on the way back wasn't that bad, not as bad as the way go. I guess London is coming back to normal. Um, yeah, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's, uh, it's certainly something different and it's the first time that I've done, you know, like kind of shopping with me. I do a lot of sit down videos and, and there will be a lot of sit down informative videos coming up and um thanks for watching i'll see you next time but until then take care and i'm just gonna have this little prawn cocktails for now cheers cup and car